Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with a long-awaited August monthly bead box from Dusty James Beads, the Magical Mystery Bead Box. Um, I think they had supply chain issues, and they apologized and everything, and sent out the box as soon as they could. So, let's see what's in it. I have no idea. Right. So, it says Scarborough Fair. The Road to Scarborough Fair. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What's inside? This is kind of cute. This side's kind of cute. And I've got a little dragon up here. A um, bunch of different things. So let's see what's going on in the box. We have a Renaissance filigree brass pendant. And you all know that I love filigrees. This is really pretty. I don't have one this shape. It's very pretty and it's very large. I actually, this is the way I originally saw it, but I mean, both ways would be really pretty. This would be really pretty with a patina or um, some wax paint on top or even acrylic paint, whatever you have to bring out the um, detail. That's really fun. This can also be cut in half. It can be bent. It can be so many different things can be done with this. That's interesting. Next, this one is Alchemist Garden. So this is one of the bead strands. Bead strand in Alchemist Garden. And it is gorgeous. It's got cloisonne on it. So a lot of cloisonne actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cloisonne beads. And then some bead frames and then spacer beads. That's kind of fun. I think that's beautiful. You don't really see cloisonne too much because it's expensive. So those are really pretty. Another bead strand in Remember Me. And th this is really pretty. So it's faux cinnabar. And uh, it just looks like faux carved. I don't really know what the material is. It seems a little heavier than plastic, but it, I really don't know what the material is. Then we have some carved. This looks like red aventurine. That is really pretty. It's nice, like peachy red flowers. I loved carved flowers. Um, they have a special spot in my bead drawers. And then we have one of my favorite styles of um, crystals, these orbs. And then this looks like red jasper, maybe. It's kind of dark, but some kind of gemstone. And then some really cool spacers. I love, I love this. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I just wanna kind of turn this into a bracelet just like that, because I would wanna see these flowers, I'd wanna see this. I'd maybe hit this with a little bit of paint to bring out that detail more. But I'd kinda wanna just put this on a stretch bracelet and add in maybe one or two beads and I'd be good to go. That's really pretty. Whoever designed that strand did it. Good job. So the next thing is Charm Pair in Wishes. Okay, these are so cute. They're little um, dandelion seeds in cased in um, either resin or glass. That's really fun. My little nephew Carter calls, well, this was when he was a baby. He's 12 now, or he's almost 12. He used to call them wishers. So I love that. Those are cute. Those make really cute earrings. Next, we have a joined clasp assortment. So we have a cute little um, toggle, very Renaissance-y, with pink uh, rhinestones. That's really pretty. A little copper, anti-copper rose. Um, cute little antique brass toggle. We have, hmm, I don't see the second half to this. There is, this should be like a, there should be a piece that joins in to this clasp. And then we have like a J clasp. And that goes like that. Um, I, oh, here it is. Oh, no, there's not. I, I'm going to double check, but I might have to just reach out to them and let them know that half of my class was missing. Or maybe I'm, I'm missing something, but I think there is a piece, like you'll see the opening right here. 
sorry my neighbor's dog is barking but um you'll see there's a piece right here missing you, you just kind of slot it in there it's like a pearl clasp so next we have the leather pendants in songbook these are fun those are nice like nice um, printed or imprinted or tooled leather look those are fun I wonder if these are actual leather or if they're pleather either way they're really gorgeous I love that embossed look that flower is really pretty and I love the swirls obviously most people would go and make earrings with these but maybe I'll make a necklace because I, I wouldn't wear the earrings we've got two sets of chain reaction it's always fun We've got um, chain and finding set in chain mail. So this chain was like super popular about 12, 13 years ago. Um, I know I had a lot of necklaces that I wore that used it, especially in this gunmetal color. So it's funny to kind of see things definitely are cyclical in the jewelry world that it's coming back. Um, I know I just saw a necklace that I took apart that had this chain on it um, from like 2009, 2010. So funny to see it pop back around. I like it though. Next we have Folk Tales and Fables. It's like a, a mini bead mix. Yep, mini mix. All right, looks like we have some good stuff in here. I'm gonna move my camera. There we go. So we've got some wood beads. Little tiny wood beads. Very lightweight. Some glass pearls. I like the luster on them. They're not shiny pearls. They're matte. We've got some velvet beads. Again, stuff like this is coming back, I guess. I, I, another item that I used about 13 years ago. And that, I, I'm gauging that because in 2009 is when I really started selling jewelry. And that's when I saw this stuff, like from 2009 to like 2012. Um, we have some glass, blue glass flowers. I actually wore a bracelet where I used these beads on it today. I just took it off. Um, I saw these in another bead box earlier this year. I love them. We've got some tiny little thread tassels. Not my fave. <laughs> We've got, um, these are cool, like a um, articulated little um, charm. This is a two-piecer. Trying to see how, oh yeah, that's how it, I was wondering, one of these swung open and it's this one right here. But it's a little two-piece leaf. That's so pretty for a, a, an earring. I love those. <gasps> Look at these tiny baby quatrefoils or clovers. They're so little. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. I love that. I love that shape. It's one of my favorite shapes in beads. Um, some really pretty um, little leaves. Those are nice. Um, they kind of remind me of tiara cast. They're not tiara cast, but they remind me of it. Little tiny birds. Actually, we have two different sizes and colors of bird. Isn't that cute? We've got a copper and a silver. Um, little uh, silver daisy link. This is a cute little mix. It's got a lot going on in it. Some table cut. These look like Chinese crystal but my favorite color, and they've got some AB on them. Some little, these like brown purple glass cubes. Some peach rondelles in two different shapes, or two different sizes. Some little metal flowers. Crown, this crown, two crowns. These are nice like little bead caps, but so cute, like if you have a larger, bird bead or a face bead or something and you put that on top that would be so cool with like a little crystal inside be so neat this is a really cool mix we've got these little like faceted pumpkins beautiful blue color and anything else oh yeah these little teardrops in like a gray white so funny uh, like the I the um the throwbacks are 
are getting to me today, those little velvet beads in that chain so far. I think that's great. All right, let's see. We've got this king and queen of the fair pearl assortment. These are gorgeous. I love matte pearls. And that color is beautiful. It's like a tealy sage color. Two different colors. It's it's probably supposed to be the same color, but these, because they're smaller and have less surface area, are a little bit darker. The six millimeter are a little bit darker than the eight, but I still love them. And then we have all these wonderful crowns. I have some crowns, but most of the time I don't want to use them because I don't, I'm don't. i afraid that I, because then I won't have any crowns. So I love that we got two of each crown. We've got gold and there are two different ways you can use this bead. You can thread it like this, there's a big hole there, or you can use it like bead cap style and thread it through there. Same in silver, which is awesome. And then we've got this little guy and this little guy, same, oh. Oh, I didn't get two gold, I got three silver. Eh, I don't mind too much. But um, yeah, little, little off, but I don't mind too much. And then last but not least, we have Scarborough Fair bead mix. Okay, this is a big mix. All right, so I'm seeing some large bead caps and gunmetal with some flowers on them. Wow, this is a bigger version of that smaller bead and I, the the um, faceting on this one is much more close to the middle than this one but I hadn't seen that size yet that's pretty cool then we've got some like emerald cut blue crystal this one's cool do we have two of these whoa that's a neat bead I haven't seen that before it's kind of trippy very like 80s Tron. <laughs> I love it. Um, and then two little um, just charms, some bead frames. <gasps> these are cool, these little flowers. I like those. These are some kind of stone, probably, mm, probably some type of jasper I would think. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on which that one that one is. Can't know them all, I guess. Um, and then we've got a beautiful bead cap. I don't know that I've seen that one before. Some bead cones. A um, couple shiny and matte crystals. Some matte, like, cream crystals. Those are beautiful. And um, another size like this in cream. Some more cream. Two like little aqua babies. <laughs> and then two of these big guys. So I like that mix. I think my favorite thing, or favorite things I should say in this are this strand. Um, I really liked this mini mix and I like the the matte pearls in here I think it's a good box I think it's a good box um, I will definitely be checking in with them to see if I can get the other half of this clasp and then um, yeah stay tuned we'll see what we can do with it uh, let me know what what was your favorite part of the box and uh, stay tuned for Goldie she's super cute please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're interested in um, subscribing to this box, I will leave a link to Jesse James Beats site, which is an affiliate link. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.